a very different situation is represented by the so-called rapidly varying flow, where the water height changes very rapidly. In this sense, it doesn't mean anymore to compute the length of the of the zone of, of the transition zone, but it's more important to compute the water height. So uh, a rapidly varying flow is a jump in the um, water level. It's also known as hydraulic jump. And it might happen due to different scenarios. For example, in the top left uh, of, the, of this slide, it can happen due to a change in the slope from mild, from steep, sorry, to mild. And here you have the height of uniform flow that is smaller than the critical one approaching the, the change in the in the slope downstream the the uniform flow water height would be higher than the critical one and then the the water level has to rise from sub, from super critical here to sub critical here then you can have the presence of a gate and you can you have to distinguish if there is a mild slope or a steep slope. If there is a mild slope, the water, the height of uniform flow arrives here, then it, the water is forced to go below the gate, this height. The flow becomes sub, uh, super critical, then it has to go here to become subcritical again, to go to the height of uniform flow. So it has Mm, to have the hydraulic jump here downstream the gate. If the, uh, the um, slope is steep, the water will arrive with a height of uniform flow smaller than the critical height. And it will impact the gate and the hydraulic jump will uh, happen upstream on the left of the gate. And another scenario um, allowing the rise of a, um, an hydraulic jump in a mild slope uh, channel is when the, um, an obstacle, uh, there is an obstruction like this one. And when it passes the obstruction, if the water level will go below the, the um, critical uh, height so it has to um, transform to be uh, to go from super critical here to sub critical here we will have um, a hydraulic jump downstream the obstacle now let's consider this situation we have a certain channel with a certain mild slope and then we have water level here another water level here this is super critical this is subcritical in order to go from one to the other we will have an hydraulic jump. Let's do it even shorter. Okay. We have a change in the uh, water level, but we will also have a sudden change in the hydraulic grade line. The hydraulic grade line will be something like this. Here would be this. And then there is a sudden reduction in the hydraulic grade line. In order to investigate this, um, the hydraulic jump, we select two sections. One here and two here. So we identify a certain 
control volume in the flow. Now we have this is sorry this height is y1 this is y2 in this section we will have forces f1 in this other section we will have forces f2 and now we write the balance of momentum it says that summation of forces f1 minus f2 equal to rho q v2 minus v1 mass uh, time velocity where F1 is, is equal to one and a half gamma y1 power two b. F2 is one over two gamma y2 power two b. If we substitute, we obtain we obtain one half gamma b y one power two minus y two power two equal to gamma over g lowercase q b lowercase q over y2 minus lowercase q over y1 where I just remind you that uppercase q is in sorry that lowercase q is uppercase q over b from this equation we obtain y1 power 2 divided by 2 plus q power 2 g y1 equal to y2 power 2 over 2 plus q g y2 this is just conservation of energy it, it looks like conservation of energy where we have a pressure term and the velocity one this quantity is called momentum. This is momentum in section one. This is momentum in section two. After some math, conservation of momentum can be rewritten in this way. Y2 over y1 equal to 1 over 2 1 minus 1 plus square root of 1 plus 8 fr in section 1 power 2 this is called co new Sorry, conjugated depth equation. If you know y1, then you can compute immediately the corresponding upstream uh, water height immediately after the hydraulic jump. We should notice also that FR Y 
1 can be computed as square root of q power 2 top width g a power 3 where we know all these uh, this ingredient and now just let me delete something if you remember the plot of the water depth against the energy this is a 45 degree lines the energy look like something like this so in section one this is the minimum in section one we are here this is e1 in section two we are here sorry this is the critical water height in section one we are here because the flow is super critical y1 we are below the critical value in the lower limb in section two we are here because y2 is larger than y critical the flow now is sub critical but we also we have also experienced a change in the energy because we moved from e1 to e2 and actually we saw that hydraulic grade line changed here from e1 to e2 so we have a drop in the energy delta e we have a sudden change in the water height an increase in the water height and a decrease in the, in the energy this change in the energy delta e is estimated as y2 minus y1 power 3 divided by 4 y1 times y2 it's very important to stress something when we have a rapidly varying right flow we are not interested anymore in knowing the length delta l we don't want to know anymore this quantity because this is very small if compared to our gradually varied flow in a gradually varied flow we have a large transition zone here we have very small transition zone what is it? sorry what is important is to understand is to compute the change in the water height so how to compute y2 knowing y1 we can apply this equation that is known as conjugated depth equation we know y1 we know fr in section one we can compute y2 and in a rapidly varied flow there is a sudden change in the energy there is a sudden change in the water height an increase but a decrease in the energy from e1 to e2 this quantity e1 minus e2 this delta e can be computed according to this formula. 